What did you want to do today, Zozo? Um, go to one Zara, number two Target, number three Kmart, number four I do not, number four place. We're not buying stuff. Oh, shop. and we're looking at every, we're, we're looking at every shop. Why? We can't buy. I, I'm not made of money. So Zoe needs some new shoes. Can I get that? This, this is super cute. What? I know this is the girls section, but I feel like I would wear this entire outfit. So what about, what about this? This is super cute. Oh, that's so cute. You don't like that? What's wrong with it? It's not your style. But it's cute. No, not my style. We've been to pretty much every shoe store at Chadston. She couldn't find anything she liked. Then she finally found this pair of New Balance shoes that perfectly match her jumper. She fell in love. They didn't have a size. But then the guy looked online and was able to get them for us. He was yeah. such a legend. And what was even better was that we reduced from $110 down to 50 bucks. So it was a yeah, double whammy of good luck. Now we're, uh, we're, we're trying to find a jumper still. Have we finally found a winner? Yeah. It is super cute. I think you made a good choice. What are you doing? Are you playing peekaboo with yourself? No. no, I'm doing green, green grass. Green, green grass, blue, blue sky. All right, let's get this one. Let's go have some fun, all right? We're finally done with shopping and now we're heading to the play center. We're gonna go have some fun. We're going to flip out. Don't flip out. Why are you gonna flip out? <laughs> oh wait, no, that's the name of the play center. That was a really bad dad joke. But it was funny. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you find my dad jokes funny. Not many people do. <laughs> Obstacle course is so cool, and then they got the ball pit, and it's a super beach ball pit. So if you fall, it softens your fall like this. Whoa! Home and everybody's gone, so I guess my parents took Ava out somewhere. Louis fast asleep. Hey, Louis. Louis getting pretty old these days. He's sleeping a lot. Hey, Oscar. You never sleep, do you? It's because no. Oh, you just spat in my face. Hey, my mouth. Yuck. Oscar is so full of energy. Hey, Louis. You just want your tummy rub, don't you? Yes, you do. Oh. Your big snort. Hello, hello, hello. Mm, boy. Hello, guys. I'm so tired, but it's almost the end of school holidays. One more day. So I feel like I've got to make the most of it. So we came down to the park with Ava. It's a bit chilly, though.
crack and the houses around here are crazy. This is like the rich, rich area of Melbourne. This is how it feels when you live in that good, good life. I'm just living that good, good life. I'm just living that good, good life. I'm just living that good, good life. Good, good life. It's not exaggerated. I just had to say it. Look how we graduated. I'm so glad you made it. Cause we got all that we wanted. Couldn't hate if they wanted to. We live it without a limit. Yeah, we do what we want to do now. So the guy I picked up from Turak turned out to be the owner of one of Australia's biggest building companies. And he was such a nice guy. I took him to the airport, so he was in my car for about 45 minutes, and we had a really long conversation. He gave me a lot of just great advice on business, life, family, um, and it just goes to show when you're doing this, you really never know who's gonna get in your back seat and what you're gonna learn from them. And it does give you an opportunity to pick the brains of some people who, yeah, you'd have to pay a lot of money to get in a, a personal setting like this with. And I've had a lot of really interesting people in my car, interesting because they're successful or interesting just because they have very interesting lives. Recently, I told you about my favorite customer I've ever had who I felt like I learned the most from and he was a cleaner. I've had all walks of life from, um, an underworld figure to um, you know people who work regular jobs and I've learned so much from different people that I've spoken to and it brings me back to way back in the day when I got flown to Italy to do that vlog with the Pope at that time I knew nothing about Pope Francis I'm not Catholic and I wanted to be prepared for that meeting because I was really humbled and honored that uh, I'd been chosen to go. And so I read his biography and something that really stood out to me in Pope Francis's biography was before he was the Pope, when he was in Argentina, he would only catch public transport. He was high up in the church. He had the ability to get driven everywhere, but he said he wanted to only catch public transport because that's where the stories of the city live. That's where you meet the real people. And I understand Uber is different to, you know, catching the train or the tram or whatever. It is more expensive, so it's a bit more affluent. But I do feel like I've gotten to hear stories and views and and feel the energy of people that I wouldn't have got to otherwise that have helped me grow as a person from listening to so many different stories and, and empathizing with so many different people whose stories I may not have previously um, what's the word previously really understood and I, I i think you know in the society that we live in we're constantly in our own little cliques our own little boxes where we don't get to have those conversations so it's it's something that i really do appreciate when i'm doing this the different opportunities i get to grow as a person from having these conversations with people i wouldn't get to otherwise I just pulled over to air my car out a bit. So my last customer, I picked her up from a medical clinic. I pick a lot of people up from medical clinics and hospitals or take them to hospitals. Ambulances are expensive in Australia. So a lot of people end up opting for Ubers instead. Uh, but the lady who I had just before, she was wearing a, a mask and she was coughing throughout the whole trip. Obviously she wasn't feeling very well and I feel for her, but being an immune compromised person, I always feel a bit anxious when I have people in the car who are, you know, sick, like infectious sick, because I've, I've been sick for the last six or seven weeks now had two rounds of antibiotics and just finished just finally starting to feel better so i'm trying not to um 
to get sick again. So I've, I've got some Glen 20 that I keep in the car. I'll just sort of spray just a little bit. Spray it on the handle. I won't spray too much because it really it, it makes the car stink, both for me and for, for passengers. But um, yeah, one of the, the hazards <laughs> of doing this. All right, we're good to go. Oh, I hate that smell though. Yeah, but also got some uh, cologne I might, uh, <laughs> might spray as well. Try and uh, even the spell out a little bit. So I just had another really cool customer. I, I think I just got a free therapy session as well. So the customer I just had is a psychologist and she's also went through a divorce as well uh, when her kids were similar age to mine and um, we we're just talking about you know some of the the hardships that uh, children experience going through a divorce and also some of the hardships as, as parents we go through trying to uh, soften that blow for them and, and be there for them and give them everything that they need. And yeah, she just gave me some really, really good advice. It was a really insightful conversation that I really appreciate. So I'm having, yeah, I'm having pretty good luck with customers today, aside from uh, the one who's potentially giving me COVID. <laughs> 